Hello friends and family from around the world, this is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide, and we are on November 19th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, checking out space weather, world weather from around the world. And yes, the sun just spat out a couple filament eruptions. You can see there, Lasco 2 images coming out here. Pretty active eruption here for sure. We were observing a small eruption yesterday in the live stream. Looking here at 304 angstroms, you can see that the incoming sunspot, the long agated sunspot was throwing out plasma. But as well, we had something incoming here. Watch on the top, or sorry, on the right hand side, a snap. I'll slow down the images here for you here. But yeah, plasma filaments on the left and then whap. The sun just kind of lit up and threw out a large plasma filament eruption. So that's three plasma filament eruptions in the past 12 hours and all coming into an earth facing position. We're all re we're all, we are already seeing a small increase in the solar wind speeds. Looking here, outgoing images. But yeah, this is now one, two, three, four sunspots in a row cruising around the southern hemisphere of our sun and seeing lots of large plasma filaments last little while. Looking here at another light, small coronal hole ahead of this small eruption. That coronal hole was just about earth facing position. Pretty much everything that comes in on the left side here is in earth facing position. And then look at these images here. You can really see plasma shoot away bottom left hand side there. Whew. Amazing stuff. Again, we want to thank Solar Dynamics Observatory for producing these images for us. Looking here at our real time solar wind as we are elevated now to about 340. As we were diminished down to about 280 kilometers per second. So we're definitely seeing an increase in everything here solar winds and density. Looking at the Schumann residence for today, power of 20. base frequency of a 7.8 hertz last 24 hours for earthquakes most recent down here California North American plate lots of activity today minor activity at that Huntsville California as well Stanley Idaho with a few rumbles still Nevada rumbling and as well Washington there with a 2.9 3.9 reported yesterday, Prince Rupert. Throughout Alaska, largest here, 3.9, Sandpoint. Over to Japan here, North Japan, Fukigawa, Japan 4.2, and Volcano Islands region, Japan 4.4, 4.9 there in Mariana's Trench. As well, 4.5 Philippines. Moving over into Indonesia, 4.7. Papua New Guinea, 4.4. And then through the Fiji Islands region, 4.9. 4.9. 
545 kilometer depth. Two 4.9s as well, watching a lot of activity recently in Hawaii, all around Kilauea Caldera. 2.6 most recently. I'll just show you here the last seven days as things are starting to increase across the Hawaiian plate, Pacific plate, and up into the Cascades. Overlooking South America here, reporting 4.4, and as well a 4.8 here in Peru, 4.7 Colombia, 4.4 Mexico. So we've seen a lot of activity recently here, Central America, up into Mexico, a very active volcano range, Puerto Rico rumbling big time, I'd say swarming the last 24 hours and just look at the last seven days in the region definitely seeing some activity across the north american plate but very quiet cascadia so stay frosty stay aware and prepared have a plan be ready that's what this is all about morning dew daily events worldwide keeping humanity aware and prepared to the growing changes across our planet and disasters that happen as they happen. Lots of Australia plate into Antarctic plate most recently. Deep South America earthquakes. And then let's look, have a look at the last seven days for depth. So we have a very, very quiet Africa, but we have two very active volcanoes in the center of it. And all around the rest of the planet, we're looking at deep earthquakes. Every continent. Very quiet Africa and very quiet Cascadia. Stay safe, stay aware and prepared. Let's have a look at the Pacific Disaster Standard here, showing you most recent volcanoes getting updated. As well, you can download this app for yourself and get all of the most recent updates from around the world, disasters, floods, fires, and thoughts and prayers going out to everybody here in Guatemala and through Honduras and Nicaragua, landslides, floods, many, many people displaced. They need help, folks. Let's extend a hand somehow, some way. Most recent volcanoes being updated from around the world. Uh, Sangay in Ecuador, Raventador in Ecuador, Ibu in Indonesia, Sevenkaya in Peru, Suis in Ajima, Japan, Kluchevskoy in Russia, Ibu Indonesia, and Era in Japan. So that's only about seven volcanoes being updated just in the past four hours. Still, we are looking at 45 active and erupting volcanoes around the world. I want to thank everybody for tuning in because all across the North American plate, people are wondering what's going on with the volcanic field in North America as well. Massive droughts, sulfur, sulfur smells, volcanic clouds being observed on a ghost satellite imagery which I shared on my live stream the other night please go and check it out you might have to find it uh, but all across central United States drought and very warm but that's about to change here five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth Meteo Mike overlooking the Pacific Ocean two pretty large and vigorous low pressure systems heading across in the five day forecast one of them is Typhoon Van Vamco from the Philippines. So we're looking here at Calgary, Alberta. Very cold temperatures, but they're not going to hang around for too long until later in the forecast. That Typhoon Vamco will be ripping down the coastline here, bringing strong winds and a lot of snow and rain throughout. And colder temperatures are going to be sweeping down to Colorado 
further into Albuquerque, New Mexico. And then a small system developing there to bring some snow, higher elevations. Colorado low developing, heading eastward. Now we got a situation developing here for parts of Atlantic Canada as we have two low pressure systems that are about to join forces here right over Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. So stay safe, my Canadian Atlantic friends. You've got quite a system heading your way and it's going to bring some torrential rain, very strong winds and heavy snow. It's going to be a very mixed bag of extreme weather. So stay safe. And please share this video with all of your Newfoundland friends overlooking Europe. Large low pressure system affecting you guys sweeping eastward and bringing a swath of snow to parts of Western Russia and Eastern Europe. Long line of snow there most likely will be falling as far south as Turkey and Greece. Cold temperatures, higher elevations moving in. The low pressure system in the Mediterranean moved eastward. We'll get into that in just a moment. Overlooking Africa, daily evaporation rains, not too much to talk about, except heavier rains through South Africa, showing here in the five day forecast. As well, a system here. This is the Mediterranean low that came from Greece and will be bringing some torrential rain to parts of Iraq and Iran and heavy snow parts of Turkey and eastward towards Mongolia as well observing here a low pressure center heading into Yemen pretty strong deep lower level trough associated with that low I've been watching it for six days now as well watching a low pressure system here affecting Sri Lanka later in the week most likely will be a cyclone so stay safe and overlooking Pacific Watching here, Typhoon Vamco is still alive. That low pressure center of Typhoon Vamco is still alive and it's right here in the Pacific, heading, racing actually, racing towards Alaska. Watch for it to bring hurricane force winds, heavy snow, heavy rain to coastal regions of BC. Not too much to talk about for the United States, except for later in the week. Low pressure system affecting you guys and then a Colorado low developing. Overlooking South America, heavy rains, Panama, Colombia, and eastward to Venezuela. But dry and hot moving across Brazil going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern i really hope you enjoyed today's video and the five-day forecast and if you're still watching god i love you it's all about the watch time folks smash that like button leave a comment stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due bye, -bye. Don't forget to check out dailyeventsworldwide.com where you can get all the latest news and events and share your photos and videos. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.